The UK has a wide variety of housing stock, from period properties all the way through to new builds. If you're looking to install clean home energy technologies, it can be difficult to know what would work. So we've reached out to our fantastic audience to see what they've done. Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. If you like everything electric, then you will love our six live shows being held around the world in 2023, starting with Sydney in Australia on March the 11th and 12th. Today we're in Gloucestershire to speak to one of our long-term patron supporters, Alison, to see what improvements she's made to her home, the reason why, and what benefits she's seen. Hi, Emily. Come on in. Thank you. My husband Nick and I bought this house in November 19 and it needed a lot of work doing to it and it didn't fit what we wanted out of the house. So it was a perfect opportunity to refurbish it and remodel it according to what we wanted and incorporate a lot of green technology in the house while we were doing it. So I've spotted the solar panels on my way in. Can you talk us through the other tech you've had installed? Well, we started with the, the solar panels because we needed to take the roof off mm -hmm. and redo that before we did anything else. So it seemed a perfect opportunity to put trays on mm -hmm. instead of tiles, and then the solar panels just click into place. Mm -hmm. So we've got 22 on that side, which is um, the sun rises there and goes down there. So that picks up the morning sun. Mm -hmm. And then we've got six panels on there, which picks up the setting sun. That's brilliant. How many kilowatts is that all together? It's about nine altogether. So that's six there mm -hmm. and three there. That's great. It's more than sort of the average home would have. So you, you must be producing quite a lot. It, it just seemed a bit rude to have the opportunity to stick trays on instead of tiles and, and not to use it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. After that, we had a Tesla power wall at our previous house that we bought in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, so we brought that with us and there was an upgrade due to it that Tesla were going to do. We said, just wait until we move and give us the upgrade mm -hmm. when you've done it, when we've moved. So that stores the power that we don't use in the house and then we'll run the house overnight um, when it's full. We did underfloor heating, the floors were a mess and were different levels. So we just ran underfloor heating pipes underneath that while we were doing that. Insulated everything that we could so that we kept the, the heat in. I've noticed you've got a heat recovery system installed as well. Yeah, we yeah. did. Well, one of the problems with doing all that double glazing insulation is that you've got stale air mm -hmm. inside the house but you don't really want to be pumping warm air out and sucking cold air in. That's a, a backward step. So there's a heat exchanger um, with the air recirculation system, but there's stuff like that in every room to take the air out and bring the air in in a different place. And actually in the bathroom, it works so well. I don't need an extractor fan to take the, 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 the hot damp air away. Sure, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and even the mirrors don't mist up when I've had a, a shower, so. Yeah, it works really well. Oh, and we've got a, a the first car we had was a Tesla Model 3 yeah. um, in 2019. And we've got a an EV charger next mm -hmm. to the air source heat pump. So it, it all plugs in. Um, and it was during the time where we would get the, the RHI. Yeah, the renewable heat incentive. So we get that as well because we took the gas out. So this is an all electric house. So did you make all the changes at once or did you come into any challenges across the way? We did make all the changes at once because we had to do some pretty heavy structural stuff and it made sense to do that. Um, so we did, but you wouldn't have to. It would depend, it could have been done in bits. It was just that for us, it made sense to do the whole lot together. Sadly, the main challenge was the timing because November 19 was just before COVID started. So then the big builders merchants shut, um, people weren't allowed in the house. Mm. And we ended up doing an awful lot of the work ourselves just because it was too challenging to get other people in. We had a lot of help from family and friends, mm. bless them. Um, and we got professionals to do the difficult stuff mm. in like the roof and the underfloor heating and the air source heat pump um, and moving the power wall and all of that because clearly we couldn't do that ourselves yeah. but but the hard graft 
the painting, the insulation, the plasterboarding and all of that. Obviously a plasterer we got in because that's the technical yeah. stuff, but we did an awful lot of it, it ourselves. You've done a lot of it yourself, yeah. We did, yeah. yes. It was, our friends thought we were bonkers and there, <laughs> there were times when we thought we were bonkers <laughs> too, yeah. So you've clearly put a lot of um, home energy technology into your home. Can you tell us some of the changes that you've seen from doing this? The thing with air source, heat pump and underfloor heating is that it keeps things at a fairly constant level. Mm -hmm. So the house is pretty much um, at the same temperature summer and winter because it's all from the ground up. You haven't got radiators, ugly things anyway. They make a right mess of organising <laughs> a room. It's great having it underfloor yeah. and it's dead cosy under my feet. Mm -hmm. Even the stone floors are cosy in winter because of the heat coming up. So that's great, I love that. And we're on the um, Octopus Tesla Energy tariff and I love that kit because it's it's cool. Um, it uses my power wall to support the grid. So in times of plenty, when there's not many people using all the energy, they take the opportunity to fill up my power wall and then they will take it out again later um, to support the grid. And I love the fact that we're supporting the grid in that way. And because that tariff costs the same whether I'm exporting it, it's the same tariff as importing it. It doesn't make any difference to me whether I'm using it from the grid or using it from the power wall. It all works out the same um, and we're supporting things. So that's good. When we bought the house, the EPC was a C. Mm -hmm. 72 I think the figure was um, and the the guy who came to reevaluate the EPC when we finished said it was a high B he actually said it was one of the highest domestic EPC ratings he'd ever seen That's in, the, in all the years he'd been yeah. doing it which we were really proud of it's an achievement definitely yeah. and one of the, the interesting things it says actually on the certificate is that the average household kicks out six tons of CO2 a year mm -hmm. and this house kicks out 1.4 tons. That's very different. So yeah. we feel we're making a difference mm. to um, the carbon footprint of the area. So what advice would you give other homeowners looking to do the same thing? I think the first thing I would say is go and look at other people who've done similar sorts of things and talk to them about what they've done, why they've done it um, and what they wanted to achieve from that. Because often it isn't as difficult as it seems, it's just that because a lot of this is new, um, the builders, the fitters, the installers, they've not done it very often and they sometimes need a bit of encouragement to see and, and, and homeowners need a bit of encouragement to see that it really isn't as difficult as they think. Have you had a lot of friends and family come over and have a look at what you've done? Yes, tons. And they love some of Nick's cool kit and it gets them all excited. But they can see that it works um, and how it works. Um, and particularly with the solar panels and the trays fitting into the roof. Um, it was actually easier than putting tiles on, but the roofers aren't used to doing it. Um, but once you explain how easy it is, um, people are more prepared to, to have a go. Mm. They do look nice well, aren't they? Nice and flush against they the do. tiles. Yeah. They do, and they work much better than the old tech as yeah. well, which is great. <laughs> it is really important to make sure that the installer understands the software mm -hmm. as well as the hardware because increasingly with the modern age it's the software that drives it and that's what a lot of these traditional installers don't understand. So have you got anything else in the cars in terms of home energy tech? No, I'm done. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Um, the next thing is the garden mm -hmm. um, and uh, that will be quite low tech probably, um, but very high on the environmental and wildlife friendly side. Um, I've got a veg garden as well, so I'm going to grow some of my own stuff, but actually even the lawnmower is battery charged, so uh, that's that's cool tech. Work it in when you can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you ever so much for showing us around your lovely home, it's been a real pleasure. And it's been a pleasure for me too, I just love showing people around, it's such fun, so thanks for coming. And if you like this episode, don't forget to follow us on our Everything Electric show. And if you have been, thanks for watching.